gentlemen, this is Tyrone Southerns cooking back at you today with another video. All right, what we have in front of us today, we're going to be doing some macaroni and cheese. We got a pot on the stove right here. We're going to bring it up to a boil. So what we're going to do first, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put us some chicken bouillon into our water. And the reason why we're doing this, we want this season to get soaked into our elbows. And we're going to add a little salt as well. And we're going to add a little vegetable oil for it won't stick. Now we're going to add a little vegetable oil on top of this. We're going to bring it up to a boil and then we're going to put our elbows in. All right. All right, our water don't came up to a boil. We got our box of elbows and we got a 16 ounce box of elbows. We're going to put that in there. And what we're going to do, since we put that in there, we're going to go ahead and give it a stir. Because it has the a tendency sometimes of starting to stick when you first put it in. So uh, you have to just stir it up for a few. And then after that, it should be good to go. Now we know they're not sticking. I can stir through it real easy. So now we can just let them boil for about 12 minutes until it get done. All right, we're getting ready to take our elbows off now. We'll put it on and strain them. All right, we strained our elbows. All right, y'all, we got a half a stick of butter. We're gonna put it in our pan. We're gonna let this melt. All right, y'all, we got our cheese here. We got us some heavy cream. We got some sour cream. We got about two steak tablespoons of flour. We got our cheese here. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go back to our pot and get our sauce together. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add us some flour in here. And what we're gonna do. We're going to stir this up. We're going to get the flour taste off of right? it. You don't want it to turn brown or nothing. You just want to keep them stirring it up for about a minute and a half. Then we're going to add our, some of our heavy cream in. Little bit of heavy cream we're gonna hold put a whole bunch in at one time and we're gonna stir it up real good we're getting a little thick there okay so we're gonna do we're gonna add some more Stir that up as well. Do the same thing. Now we're gonna get some more. Oops. Get our dispatch out of there. Right, we're gonna stir this up. Now you see what it's doing. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Right, we're gonna pour some more heavy cream in here. Go ahead and pour all that on in now. So what we're going to do now, we're going to start adding us a little block of cheese. All right, we're going to start adding our cheese in. 
cut it up into little blocks. Be easy to melt. All right, we're gonna keep a stir on this until all the cheese melts. That's what we're doing now. Getting all the cheese to melt. All right, y'all, we got us one egg right here in this cup here. We're gonna go ahead and put in our mix. We got us some sour cream. We're gonna put a half of this sour cream in here. And this is a, a what else is this in here? I can't see, I ain't got my glasses on. I'll leave it in the description box. We're gonna put half of the sour cream in here. All right, that's about half. All right, we're going to put some sugar in here as well and some salt. And put a little salt in here. That's enough salt. So now we're going to stir this up real good. Like this right here. Stir it up, keep stirring it up. All right, we're going to pour our cheese sauce on our macaroni. Let's see what we got going on here. We'll put just a little bit more cheese sauce on this. We want it to be, we don't want no dry macaroni and cheese. No, we don't want no dry macaroni and cheese. Now what we're going to do now, we're going to add some smoked paprika. All right, we're going to add us some paprika. I think we got enough cheese sauce on this right here. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and put it in our pan. That's what we got, it. that's what it's looking like. All right, y'all. Dish, so what we got oven side on 375 and what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and put our cheese on This sound real good, y'all. And we're gonna sprinkle some more paprika on top. 
color. As well. All right, y'all. We're gonna get some more pepper. We're gonna chop this right here. And we're gonna put it in the oven for about 20 minutes on 375. All right, y'all, going in the oven. We'll be back. Stay tuned for the best part. All right, y'all. That macaroni and cheese just come out the oven. That's what it's looking like right now. We're going to let it cool off a little while. That's what we're going to do. About five to ten minutes. All right, y'all. We finna see what we got going on. y'all y'all see that there oh yeah cheesy turn it around for you can see pan still hot get another dip out of there you can see it better get another dip out of that there see I don't like no dry macaroni and cheese y'all I like my macaroni and cheese with some moisture to it. Yeah. Mm. Yes, sir. Just enough salt. Just enough sugar. Oh, yeah. Y'all, Tyrone has done it, done it again. Turn this hand around for you to see what's going on with that, yeah? Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's not good mac and cheese there, y'all. Put mac and cheese right there, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me get another spoon. Let me get another spoon, y'all. What we got, y'all, still kind of warm. And it's still really kind of good. Yeah. The macaroni and cheese good here, y'all. I ain't just telling you just to see it. It's good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, y'all. Y'all like the video? Share it. Everybody have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace.